I, have you ever looked for something and searched everywhere, frantically, trying to find it? And all of a sudden you look down and find it was right where you first looked for it. You just didn't see it. That's what it's like when you wonder where God was. Today's video, Larry Fleet, Where I Find God. Yesterday I, I talked about um, God is closer than you think. And he is. When we find all kinds of horrible things that happen, whether it's natural disasters or, or crimes, things that nature does to us and things that people do to us, it's easy to see that horrible, horrible, horrible outcome. And if, if you look online, you know, Google anything that you want. And you'll find terrible images. But if you take those terrible images and you find the stories that came afterwards, you find love. People always respond out of love. It doesn't matter what it is. They always respond out of love. And that's where God is. Now, every single time something happens, when people respond out of love, God is there. I've been thinking about the Pulse nightclub shooting. And I lived just outside of Orlando when it happened. It was uh, June 12, 2016. One person decided to do all that. But what came afterwards was total strangers responding to help other people because they needed it. There were people inside the nightclub that were trying to save people they didn't even know. Police officers, SWAT teams, they just risked their lives to try and stop what was happening and to save whoever they could. And there were reports about them being walking around after it happened, trying to find more survivors and cell phones were ringing like crazy. People were trying to get in touch with them. And the officers responded with how terrible it was knowing that somebody who's searching for someone they love. The other thing that happened was people all over the, the area lined up in huge crowds to donate blood for the survivors. No one knew what was going to come next. No one knew what was going to happen. No one knew if we were putting our own lives on the line. It didn't matter. It only mattered that people needed help. And everybody wanted to do whatever they could. There were people that were bringing food and water because if you know anything about Florida, it's hot that time of year. And the heat was awful because the sun was beating down. And it didn't matter. God was there. Whenever you respond out of love, he's there. Now, another thing that happened was there were religious leaders preaching more hatred about the people that were in Pulse than they were preaching against the man who decided to massacre them. God was not in that church. 
that wasn't about love. That wasn't about God's love. It was almost as if those pastors had no clue who God was or what Jesus came to teach. And they preached a lot of hatred and kept using Jesus' name as if he had anything to do with what they were saying. But when people decided to leave those churches, God was there. He was holding the door open for them so that they could leave those false teachers and find the true ones. And yes, he was there when they did. He was there when he reminded them that Jesus prayed outside most of the time. And even the ones that didn't return to church discovered that they can talk to God whenever they want, wherever they want. And their soul will know he heard them. Whenever you reach out because you understand someone needs help, you understand the pain they are carrying and you want to help, God is there. So where do you find God? I find him all kinds of places. And so can you, because even though you might not notice it, He's been there all along. So enjoy the video. And remember, it's your life. Get in and drive it. See you next time.